What's poppin' rock stars? My name is MT, and episode three of Loki finally gave us the proper look at the lethal, lovely Lady Loki that we've all been waiting for. And it turns out she wasn't even Lady Loki at all, and that she is, in fact, the Lokimon Sylvie Laufey Dottier that has been teased in an earlier episode, as well as the end credits of some international versions of the show. And good God, can this woman fight? Like, holy shit. She for sure came to the TVA to kick names and take ass. But unfortunately, the only ass that she really got to take was an ass by the name of Loki Laufeyson, all the way to the doomed moon of Lamentus One, where Sylvie opens up a little and teases us with a few short comments into her past. You know, like the fact that she knew that she was adopted at an early age. I knew I was adopted. What? I told you. She barely remembers her mother. I barely remember her. Just blips of a dream at this point. And that she's been fighting the TVA for her entire life. When'd you get so paranoid? Oh, I guess it must have started when I spent my entire life running from the omniscient fascists you work for. But we, the greedy nerds of the internet, doth declare that this is not enough, gods damn it. We want answers about Sylvie's past. Like, who was Sylvie's mother anyway? And why did Sylvie's parents decide to tell her that she was adopted so early? How did she become a rogue variant in the first place? What brand of hair dye does she use? The people have to know. But before I continue, I want to thank Noom for sponsoring this video and take your free 30 second quiz using the link in the description and get started today. Lucky for us, Marvel Studios knows that we are thirsty hoes for that nerd info. So they just dropped a new Sylvie featurette that could help us good people of the speculation nation unlock the secrets to her past. So let us theorize as to what could have happened before the gory days of this badass witch, my nerd babies. So in the latest episode, while the two Loki are on their train date, Loki talks fondly about his mother Frigga, how kind of a person she was and that she was the person that originally taught him magic. This is very much in line with a deleted scene from Thor The Dark World where Frigga actually reveals that the reason why she taught Loki to be such a proficient magic user was so Loki could be equal and not inferior to the powerhouses that were Odin and Thor. And then Loki, of course, shows off some of that fireworks magic that Frigga did for Loki as a kid. However, the way Sylvie reacts to Loki's fireworks and his past relationship with his mother suggests that she can't really relate to Loki's upbringing. And when you consider the facts that A, she barely remembers her own mother, and B, she had to teach herself magic, I'm willing to bet that Sylvie and Loki have two completely different mothers, leaving the most likely candidate for Sylvie's mother, in my opinion, to be none other than the goddess of death herself, Queen Hela Hellison the first, or should I say, the worst. You're just the worst. I mean, think about it. In Thor Ragnarok, we learn that Odin and Hela spent their quality daddy-daughter time bathing in the blood of their enemies as they went and conquered the Nine Realms. You know, before grabbing some ice cream on the way home. What if Sylvie came from a universe where Odin perishes during these conquests before she was born, leaving Hela as the next ruler of Asgard? This would mean when Laufey gets greedy and attacks Midgard in Sylvie's reality, instead of Odin adopting Laufey's child as his own to hopefully one day serve as a key to peace between Asgard and Jotunheim, it was the vicious Hela that takes in Sylvie as her prize, like a spoil of war, possibly for the purpose of setting Sylvie up to be a future mean-ass governess of Jotunheim, keeping those naughty naughty frost giants in line, you know, on behalf of Hela's ever-expanding Asgardian empire. And this video is brought to you by Noom. Noom is a different new way to get healthy, lose weight, and achieve your goals using proven cognitive behavioral therapy practices. Noom arms you with the wisdom and guidance you need to practice making more thoughtful choices every day. Noom helps you learn how your mind works and the why behind the decisions you make. Learning, not dieting, is what leads to real lasting change. Noom is a behavior change innovator, using psychology and science to help people live the healthy, fulfilling lives they deserve. By combining the power of artificial intelligence, mobile tech, and psychology with the empathy of personal coaching, Noom helps people live healthier lives by changing their long-term habits. Cognitive behavior therapy is about behavior change and proven long-term results. And the Noom program has a lot of cool tools, including an exercise and food tracker and these short interactive daily lessons that help you re-examine your behaviors. And it's all personalized to the user. Now, I personally found the lesson about distortions quite powerful because it was all about the things that we tell ourselves that prevent us from making progress. Like, people will judge you for not eating a salad or eating a cupcake and your entire day is ruined. And Noom explains how these thought distortions can affect your health and provides you with the tactics and tools to avoid and counteract them in the future. Take your free 30 second quiz using the link in the description to get started today. In this scenario, Hella would not feel a single need to hide the truth from Sylvie because frankly, she doesn't really give a f 
about her. Because if you think back to Thor 1, Odin specifically tells Loki that the reason why he hid the truth of his parentage from him was to preserve his feelings and to make him feel as an equal to his brother. But Hela don't give a damn about that shit. She was probably like, guess what? You're not my daughter. You're a frost giant and I'm gonna make you fight by my side forever. So I'm gonna teach you how to murder now. And that's how Sylvie's been able to survive all this time because she's been taught how to be a warrior at an early age by her ruthless mother, Hela. But how early of an age? Well, if this new Sylvie featurette Marvel Studios just dropped as any indication, it's probably when Sylvie was just little Sylvie Jr. You know, around the time that she was arrested by the TVA, possibly from rebelling against her role as being merely a tool to be used for Hela's greedy benefit. Because as we learn from the TVA animation, the TVA will arrest anyone for even the smallest of deviations from the timekeeper's plans like being late for work. So a scenario like this is quite likely in my opinion. Those motherfuckers are probably kidnapping kids all the time. I mean, what are they? Yondu? <laughs> And so, when little Sylvie Loki Jr. was declared guilty for breaking out of her timekeeper destined fate to be a foil for greater heroes, I'm speculating that she could have used some of that hella training to kill her first TVA guards and steal her first temp pack. I mean, she was a child after all, and children are often underestimated. If you look back to the first episode of Loki, Mobius stops the TVA agents from killing the kid in the church. So, the TVA do tend to treat children with a little bit more leniency, but not much. And that's all little Sylvie Loki Jr needed to kill her first TVA agents and get the f out of there. And then from there, she's been on the run ever since, teaching herself magic along the way to help her survive. I mean, sure, she's free from her destiny as Hela's war dog, but Sylvie cannot truly be a master of her own fate until she can bring down the timekeepers, since they are the slavers of the multiversal fates. Which is probably why she changes her name in the first place. I mean, she did discover that there was a multiverse of Lokis tied to the same wheel of fate by these timekeepers, so what better way to reject the timekeeper story of the Lokis than to reject the name altogether. But that's just my theory. What do you guys think? Do you think Hela could be Sylvie's mother or do you think Sylvie has a different past? Let us know below, my nerd babies. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Mastertainment if you wanna see me tweet or post weird things on Twitter and Instagram. But most importantly, follow new rock stars wherever we are, especially on YouTube and Twitter. And if you follow us on YouTube, make sure to hit the notification bell so you can get notifications whenever we upload a new video. And don't forget to check out our dope Loki shit at newrockstarsmerch.com especially our Loki latest obsession shirt that isn't going to be around forever. It's called Loki out of time and you are running out of time to get it. So get to it. But yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.